Hey guys, welcome back to Twitchy Does XCOM. I've got a fresh cup of tea in front of me, so I really want to get this done within the next 20 minutes or so, so we don't end up with too, too cold tea. Uh, here's a list of things that are going on, but we're just going to carry on scanning until these things tick round, because, you know, what else are we going to do? Satellite coverage now available over South Africa. Boom, boom. Um, well, that was nice, but what I was actually looking at was this research coming in. So let's go back to the research lab. Uh, so we can now make heavy laser, laser cannon. What's the shiv? I don't know what the shiv is. We'll find out. But right now, bow. Wow. Turns out my volume's up quite loud. Let's turn that down a bit. Uh, new item available. Heavy laser. Bam. We're gonna, we need one of these from our quest. Uh, the shiv, now that we can produce higher output um, laser weapons, we could swap out the conventional minigun on our shiv units and currently... Fa oh, for the, uh, the heavy things, right? Uh, laser cannons. Wow. Uh, most alien craft. They have a limited range uh, requiring the intercept to close in. Not great, is it? Not great. Right, so this is what we need to do for the next bit of, like, the priority stuff. Uh, the, if we go over to, where is it, the situation room over here. Oh, double click, that was not good. You see here we're supposed to do the hyperwave beacon. But that's not really what I want to do. I want to start a new research project, get this sectoid autopsy underway. I, I really do want to get the autopsies done. Maybe get some of this other stuff done as well. Like, the priority stuff is nice, but wow. Oh, yeah, look, fast, fast, yeah. Um, yeah, maybe get a skeletal suit. What's this? Um, so it says defense cable is still intact. The suit, yeah, see, like things like this would be lovely. Uh, this is like the nano fiber, but done better. Uh, like the plasma pistol. I mean, it takes forever, though, right? It takes forever. Uh, a plasma rifle that would be quite nice. But yeah, I think the first thing we want to do. Let's let's do this sectoid commander. Uh, we we get all sorts of good stuff. What what's the drone autopsy at? Two days. Let's do that actually. Do that. This oh. unit appears to be a drone, which is similar to the military drones we are familiar with. This particular example seems to have the ability to repair damaged equipment. Oh, Dr. wow, we Shane, need some of that. I believe it should be possible to capture and repurpose these for our own use in the field. That would be nice. That would be nice. So, what, to capture the. Uh, capture the live ones, is that? I don't know. Let's, let's continue on. Oh, look, we're going to have a satellite ready in 14 days. I have an idea for that. In fact, I believe there's going to be three there. So they want 14 corpses. We can give them four. They'll give us a bunch of scientists. I don't see why we shouldn't do that. Let's do it, yeah. Okay, we, we pick up sectoid corpses. And as far as I'm aware, we only want them for those, like, funny aiming satellites, right? Uh, there's no need for, for that. Uh, so here's some uh, droid drone research let's see what it says about this uh, drone capture project available in the foundry so that's something to take on uh, the drones we've just uh, disassembled seem to have been similar purpose to repair alien technology so it's all repairing stuff um, it may be possible to hack these drones allow us to utilize them for our own purposes okay that'd be nice so let, let's try and capture uh, we're confident that arc throws could be upgraded so we'll do that We'll do that. Uh, so what have we got next? A light plasma rifle, that's a bit bit much. The nav computer, we've been we've been waiting for this. I let's let's get this going. To support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Well, it's good. It's good. This is exactly what we wanted to do. Let's go over to the foundry. Alright, whoa! Always glad to have more help down here. People just thanking me left, right and centre. Like, it's, it's nice to be appreciated, but there's some, sometimes I just don't want that stuff. Okay, so what we're looking for, we're in the foundry, right? Where's the... no, the arc thrower? I'm sure there was an arc thrower upgrade. Here, drone capture, here we go. So we need four more drone wrecks. Okay, so that, that's good to know. The improved pistol, though, one of the earliest developments in the foundry of the magnetic ordnance reduction system greatly reduced the recall of our uh, entire range of sidearms. Uh, upgrade will significantly improve the odds of soldiers scoring a critical hit. Should we, should we tick that over? That sounds like something we can, we we would have ticking over. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll send word um, to the foundry crews now. Well, thank you, you very much. Let's get back to shush, shush, shush. Let's get back to scanning. Let's get back to scanning. Uh, so Pedersen's back. Oh, thank, thankfully, that that's so good. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So we've got a lot of lot of stuff ready to do. What's the satellite nexus? What does that do? Uh, I don't know. I'll probably find out between episodes. I uh, don't really want to be able to do too much. Um, the satellite monitoring team of engineers so is capable of receiving from four XCOM satellites. So what we want to do is level the two uplink things that we've got and build one of these. Yeah. Uh, research uh, stealth satellites. Well, that's probably just for our... Um, 
Uh, what's the things I'm looking for for our interceptors? UFO power source. Yeah. Um, I, I really would like to get this skeleton suit going. Maybe we can do some better stuff. I, I'm a little bit like now that we've got the chrysalid stuff. Is it worth doing this? I'm, I'm going to do it. We like ten days. Hey, ten days. What's the what's the worst that can happen in that time? I know, I'm pretty sure we'll find out what will happen in that time. A lot of uh, base work on We're the go. We're detecting a new contact, much larger than anything we've previously uh, encountered. Ah, no. I recommend we scramble our best equipped fighters if we're going to engage that ship. Well, uh, something with the Phoenix Cannon, I suppose? Maybe? I, I, I think we've got some, some satellites and stuff to be used. Engaging bogey. I hope. Um, let's, no. No, we don't. Dodge, man, dodge. Just, just get in there and have it. Uh, all right, watching the damage. I mean, do I just let it run? Up here. Wow, intercept shot. Wow, always, always a threat. Uh, I, like, I'm, I'm. That's good. That's good. We're, we're very, very nearly lost a vessel, but that, that's okay. We're, we're good with nearly losing vessels. As if we actually lost them. Uh, we've got crew moving in the site this is a long mission okay so I, I suppose we're just gonna have to deal with it as we're gonna deal with it do we have everyone we want um, I, everyone apart from Nakagawa it seems like so I want to clear this guy is, is he ready uh, he's not no look he's still wounded for three days can we wait three days and it seems a little little bit um, what's the word I'm looking for a little, little bit uh, bad to do that do we, do we bring a new person out, see if we can get them? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, Eugene Rowe has been out with us before. Um, let, let's edit the unit. Nanofiber best, best. That's not a bad little loadout, is it? Uh, we could definitely give him worse. Laser rifle, that's good. Do we have the body armor? No. Who's wearing the body armor? That's no good. So clear the unit. Let's bring back this guy here. Uh, no, I needed to edit him, didn't I? I know what I'm doing here, honest. So we're going to hit the loadout. Got to take this off, the body armor. Can we not? There we go. That's what we want to do. He's got a shotgun for the assault. Okay, he's pretty pretty badly set up, really, as things go, but uh, that'll do. Um, so Eugene Rowe, brilliant. We want to edit the unit. We want to give him one of these. Brilliant. And he's got some nanofiber vest. He's got a laser rifle. We could, we could get him in to do some damage. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's nothing like a cup of tea to get you through the XCOMs, eh? All uh, right, so we're going over to... Oh, it's the same area, uh, Washington Strike State one. sort of Prepare way. So let's get in and have a look. Get we are out in the middle of nowhere. Was within the continental United States. Look at this. It's like all, all it barren rock. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Yeah, I shouldn't imagine there will be any civilians. I mean, look at this place. Okay, so we need to locate the UFO, sweep it and, and kill everyone, um, avoid doing dra damage to the craft. We can, yeah, we can do that. I mean, you know, we're a mercenary group, right? But, but I presume this is what we do. We just happen to have been the, 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 the nutters that were like, no, we are preparing for the aliens. And then suddenly it happened and the government was like, who are the most experienced team? Approaching the crash site now. Strike team is awaiting your orders. That's what I assume, anyway. Strike one is free to well, engage at hostile targets at the crash site. I'm just going to go straight in. Um, I, I, we could do a sweep. We could find out if everything's all right. But I'm, I'm kind of feeling that we're just going to go straight in. Um, Doc Williams, he can't do anything around here, though. There is a beautiful little hiding spot for him there. That's nice. I like this. Um, kind of want to move Doc from this this uh, placement of his, like being like second. That's that's not great. Uh, Turk is going to go here. That's good. She's also going to hit. Oh no, Overwatch. Sorry. It's, this first deployment is quite quite vital. Um, Pedersen's up. Cool. Uh, it kind of sets the tone for how we're going to approach this. Uh, and I, yeah, I'd like to approach it with some style if possible. Um, but also at the same time, I don't want to group everyone up because that just means early death, right? Fairly sure it means an early death. Okay, that's our that's our go. Let's see what happens. It's all very quiet. Do they know we're coming yet? Do they know we're coming? <sighs> Maybe. Here comes some people. Chris, oh, this is exactly what we needed, Chrysalids. Oh, I don't know, actually. Now things are feeling bad. Lots of reaction shots going down. I hope that my people are good enough for it. 
death, death, miss, miss. Oh wow, just everything's going bad. Is that is that everyone? Is that everyone? Looks like everyone. He looks. It was only natural to assume the aliens would have something specialized. Oh wow. Oh, what is that? This hulking creature appears to be that unit. I don't envy anyone who has to go up against that thing. No, I don't envy us either. Um, okay, so we're going to go around here. Oh, we could just like could finish this. this. Responsible for the attacks taking place during the alien abductions. Look at this. Oh, I can't. I can't. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, let's try this. Mr. Roo, I believe you had a. No, you don't. Oh wow, this is this is terribly bad. Um, terribly, terribly bad. It would be nice to have shot in some explosives okay so let's just I don't know who who is looking the most threatening at the moment and I'd like to get one of these guys at the back collar targeted just in case like I say just in case I'd like to get one of them hollow targeted so that we could start taking them out but I think what we need to do is just take these guys at the front out first yeah uh, 68 I mean I could if I hit this guy he's dead so let's try that let's try that Oh, I hit him and he's not dead. Oh, it's all over. It's all over. Uh, so we're gonna... No, we don't want to dash. Is that a dash? That is a dash. How's that a dash? Oh, we can only come around here. Okay, well, that's gonna have to do like this. Um, maybe an overwatch is a good good, good sight here. <sighs> Mr. Rowe, you are in trouble, my friend. Like, some serious trouble. Uh, him at the back? No. Come on, come on. Give, it, give me the guy that I want to shoot at him. Maybe we can kill him. Oh no! Oh no! Well, the problem here, of course, is like the longer, uh, yeah, the longer we wait, the more these guys are going to get closer to killing us. Um, now, who do we want to put in here? I don't, I don't see anyone with any sort of um, explosive damage, but I don't know what these guys at the back do. They could very well do some explosives. Um, it'd be nice to get up and round here. Like, could we do a run and gun and then fire at that? Should we try it? I kind of feel like I'm spreading my team out too much, but at the same time, I really want to start laying down some power. Um, and she is just going to attack this first guy in front of her. 90% hit. Hopefully we get a crit. Brilliant. Okay, that's one down at least. 14 crit, that's nice. That's nice. Um... Oh god, it'd be nice. It'd be really nice if we could get some chrysalids. So let's run over here. Let's go back up our friend. Ah, oh, this guy. Why has he not got any? Anyway, it's not him we're going to go for. It's that first chrysalid, mainly because we need to try and stop them getting at us. They're so so powerful when they're getting close. Oh right, well here we go. The first round of death coming. I ah, oh, I just know we're going to lose people. Going to lose so many people. Doc Williams, do it man, that's four, it's not great, it's not terrible, but it's not great. Could definitely have done with some more set up there. Uh, moving closer. Okay, a little bit weird, oh, because obviously they're um, having to dash to get here. That's that's alright, we can, we can deal with that. Oh, where's he going? That, that was a little bit worrying. Uh, I, I'm worried about all of these, to be honest. Hopefully, I've put them so much on the back foot that they don't know what they're... Oh, wow, what's he doing up there? Uh, that they themselves don't really know what they're doing. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, please don't. Oh, that that was... It's a long-range shot, but it, it, it would be worrying if it hit. So they're falling back a little bit. Uh, this is good. This fills me with confidence. Uh, Marquez, uh, you appear to have a... Oh, can we, can we stun him? No, we can't stun a chrysalid. That's a shame. That's a shame. Okay, well, let's, let's shoot at him. Kill him. I had a feeling. I had a small feeling that we could just about handle that. Right, so Doc Williams not particularly needed at this precise moment in time. Right, first up, Eugene Roo. Um, if you could take that one out, that'd be great. Pow. Yeah. Promotions all round, guys. Promotions all round. Like, uh, so, Turk's not who we want yet. Pedersen. Got to take down this last chrysalid, and then we got to worry about everything else. Okay, this is good. This is good. I'm, li I'm liking this. This, uh, this is. This could definitely be going a lot worse. A lot, lot worse. Okay, so from if 
let's swing the, the screen round. If I come over here, what do I get? I get to have a shot at matey at down there. Let's let's have a go at that. Or perhaps we want to do um, no, no, that eighty five percent hit seems good to me. Ah, oh, come on, Doc. What was that? What was that? Uh, do I move Pedersen forward? It's all a bit sketchy. I mean, I'd really like to get around there, and then she's fully, fully hidden, right? Um, but it's still overly sketchy. Um, 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 um. This is this is a hard one to think about. This is a hard one to think about. Maybe we could go through the door. No, that's, that's also a bit of a dash. Uh, is this my best point of cover? Am I on half? I'm only on half cover here, so I might as well move forward and take a shot, right? If I come this way, I'll have, still have all the cover between everyone, and hopefully can take a shot at this guy. Hopefully. That's that's brilliant. That's what we're talking about. She is a little exposed up front now, um, and that's things to worry about, like that. It's all right. We, we've got Doc. Oh, we didn't equip Doc with an extra bit of equipment. That that's a bit. Mm, it's a bit bad. What's he doing? What is that? Blood cool. Is that more point? Uh, more hit points? Please don't. Ooh, that could have been very dangerous. Right, Marquez really wants to start moving up. What I'm going to do is actually move him around here. Because if we could stun these guys, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Maybe dash here and then stun? No, dash around here, and then we could stun them up next time. Though we are now exposing a hell of a lot of pit. That's, that's alright, we can do this. Okay, Doc is coming down here to go do a heal. Uh, the healing is this one. Do it, do it. Brilliant. Easy now, soldier. Indeed, soldier. You, uh, you want to watch yourself from now on. It's getting a bit, getting a bit tough. Oh wow, we're about to run out of bullets. Mm. Okay, so my thought process is we can either move up, take a shot, and hope that's good enough, and then reload next round, which is pretty much what we're going to have to do. Actually, like we, we cannot stop when there's still threats. Fifty-six percent. That's terrible. Oh, yes, have it. 56% is terrible, but it's going to kind of have to do. Um, Alright, Brit here. Maybe we could dash her down there. I know, it seems a little exposed. Perhaps a dash there. Um, or we could run and gun. Let's do it. Uh, again, she could really do with um, reloading. But we're going to have to do this because we are under threat. And being under threat, like that's, that's tough. I knew there was three. Where's the other one? Up there, right. Should we, uh... I want to take him out. It's 36, that's terrible. 68, we'll try that. Right, that's brilliant. That's exactly what we wanted. Uh, he do she does need ammo, but maybe if we can come down here. Oh, wait, should we go for an overwatch with this guy? I mean, trying to shoot him up the back there seems a little bit... That's 15. Yeah, we're, we're going to overwatch with this guy. I mean, he is just our backup. That should be fine. I'm interest, most interested to see what's going to go on to, uh, here. That's fine. Couple of points spread around. That's that's all right. Oh, all right, awesome. Now I presume what we're going to do is we're going to come step in here and use our stun on him. Do it. Light him up. Target incapacitated. Awesome. Um, can't really do much else other than that. Uh, what we want is Turk to come in. Where can we get? We can't really get any cover around, right? Though we do have a run and gun. Let's try that. No? Oh, no ammo. Reloading. Got to reload. Marquez is very, very exposed. Who, who can actually go in? Doc can move in a little bit. Where do we want to put him, though? This is the question. I mean, if we go here, can we shoot? We're going to have to find out. If nothing else, he's there to um, back up Marquez. No, he's not. Okay, that's that's fine. If Marquez gets hit, Doc can Doc can save him. Uh, Pedersen needs to reload. Okay, and we have our friend here who's going to wander forwards a bit. See if it's worth taking a shot. Nope. So we're going to Overwatch. Um, Doc is also going to Overwatch. It's a shame we couldn't move Marquez back. He's going to take a, a few hits to the face, I reckon. Uh, I I hope they're backing up. No, we've got a weapon coming out. Oh dear. Oh wow. That was a powerful blow there. Um, so obviously Mar Marquez needs to reload. Oh, 
this is rubbish. This is rubbish, rubbish. Should we move Doc in and just fire? I mean, Doc is known for finishing it like that, right? But there are plenty of things that could go wrong, but this is... Right, and now we can move someone else in to finish. Uh, Turk is brilliant. Turk is exactly the person we want to run in and finish it. Pow! Right. Awesome. It's time to regroup and think about what the hell we are doing, guys. Wow. Look Look at it. Look at it. Let's just get over to this wall. Hopefully when we're at the wall, no, nothing's going to pop out. Um, Mr. Rue, you can sit there and reload. Everyone should be reloading, I hope. Is there stuff coming for me? Is there stuff coming? Right, Odin, you are fully loaded and ready to move further in. We want to swing this round to this way. Ooh, is it a dash down here? It's not. Brilliant. Okay, it looks like we're going in through this door. We're going to overwatch. <coughs> wow, Doc. If that had gone wrong, you would have been in serious trouble, right? Serious trouble. Um, we're going to leave Turk sort of here, overwatching next to Doc. Uh, mainly because, wow, look at the, the damage she's taken. Uh, even Pedersen. Ooh, damage there as well. Do we want to go up with Pedersen? I mean, what what are we going to see up there? I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing. I mean, can we... Oh, there we go. We can move up. Oh, I see what's happened. So we've come in through the front. I didn't even, didn't even click this. Um, but is there a way up? Or does that just... No, that just shows out that way. So what we want, really, is uh, Rue to go that way because he's got the laser rifle. The assault people want to go in through the front door. We know this. Yeah, they, they've got shotguns. Shotguns not so good over balconies. Um, if we can just do a dash. Where do we want to just do a dash to? Just to here? Just to hold the place down? I think that's a good shout. That's a good shout. Mr. Rue can overwatch around the corner. Just watch our back, man. Just watch our back. That's what it's all about. He is also quite damaged, I know. So the real question there is, is, did anything actually happen during that alien active activity? Uh, I really don't feel like it did. Uh, we're just going to walk up towards the door. This this is a horrible way to gain entrance. Perhaps we did want to go down this central line. That will then give us this, this overview of anything that's going on. Do we want to go back? Should we go back and round? I think we're going to go back and round. I'm going to get Marquez to dash all the way down there. This is the way we're going. This is the way we're going. Okay, Doc. You have done your business of reloading. In fact, for the love of God, Doc, get in behind some cover. What are you doing? What are you doing? Right, when you're there, we're going to heal. Brilliant. Spray it on. Yeah, aerosol healing. That's what it's all about. Okay, so I hear something. You hear that? We do hear that. Now, do we want. Turk and Pedersen to go in through the front door whilst the others are watching the back. That kind of sp speaks to me. That speaks to me a lot. So let's uh, let's go up here. I know this doesn't really provide any cover from the door, but it's going to do. Uh, and whilst we're mucking around here, down here, down here seems like a good place to, to hide out. Oh, look, there's another door there. It's uh, going to get going, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to Overwatch. Mr. Roo, let's get up, the, up this up this slope to see what's going on. Hopefully, uh, Marquez can can cover him, but we'll see what's going on. We'll see what's going on. We're expecting things to come through the front door, really. It's uh, no, no, that's not where I want to be. It's a little bit annoying that there's no cover on this line anywhere, but at the same time. It does mean we're getting a good view around. I'm really worried about what's going to come out of that door at me. Um, right, so Doc, you don't really know what's going on, so we're going to run you up this way. Must be, must be the way forwards, right? Must be the way. The Turk's going to get on this side of the door. We're going to wait until our people are in place, really. Uh, does she overwatch? Yeah, she, she'll overwatch. Um, we're going to have another overwatch here. We've got to wait for these guys to get, like, literally up to this front edge here. They're holding tanks of some kind. As repugnant as the thought may be, 
This is most likely how they keep their latest uh, test subjects alive. Oh, you know, as, a cool, as opposed to our holding tanks back at base, right? I, I, I did that girl's hit the hypocriticism really gets to me. I don't know why. But it really does. Okay, so there's more coming out there. Now, you can't tell much from that cone. I, I've learned this over time. Mm, now, is that half cover going to be enough? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's move to Marquez in. Uh, sh sorry about that. My phone just went off. Uh, yeah, we could have... Um, Moved him all the way in, then got holo, holo targeting on the first first person I've spotted. But yeah, whatever. Um, Rue is also going to move in. I'm not sure if we want him all the way. Let's get Pedersen here. He's going to come up and get behind this. Seems like the way forwards. It does. Okay. Anything to spot? Nothing to spot. That's a, a little bit annoying. It's a lot of lot of movements for not doing much don't see anywhere really to hide so we're going to put Rue in this corner here and he's also going to overwatch okay Marquez should also have already been on overwatch and Doc Williams is just going to be bringing up the rear as he does as he does um, overwatch okay and Turk I don't know where we're going to send Turk probably in here somewhere but we don't want to don't want to send her too far. Oh wow, this control system's a bit, bit twitchy today. Uh, let's put her like here. This is where we want to go, right? We're going to see what alien activities happen. Overwatch. Let's do it. Okay. So what's going to happen? Who's going to jump out at me? What scary beasts are going to going to jump? No. Right, how much further do we have back here to go? Quite a lot. So, with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. This is already starting to move on. And, and an effort to not let it run on to, like, a massively cut-up episode. I'm going to end it here. And I'll see you next time when we're going to finish clearing this place out. Bye!